Welcome everyone, today we are taking a look at the Winko Heavy Duty Rubber Floor Mat. I've been using this mat for about two months now and it's been making uh, standing on these stone floors a lot more comfortable. In this video I'm going to be covering two parts. First I'm going to go over the specifications, then I'm going to talk about some of the features. So let's get started with some measurements. So this is a pretty large mat. We can see we've got a length of 59 and one quarter of an inch. And we've got a width of 35 and three quarters of an inch. This mat is made of rubber. It's about the same consistency and stiffness that you see on like a car tire. So moving on to functionality. Like I mentioned, this mat is definitely on the stiff side. It's not like those soft foam rubber mats where you press down and it sinks. Even putting all my weight like on the tip of my foot, you can see I can barely get it to sink down even a little. That said, when I'm doing my food prep and I'm standing on this mat for longer periods of time, it feels really comfortable. I definitely feel the additional support under my feet. One of the big selling points of this mat is that it's non-slip, even when wet. So you can see like on the stone tile, my foot it slips around very easily. And if it gets wet, so I'm going to pour a little bit of water. So looking at the stone tile floor first, look at that, my foot just slides back and forth. I would not want to be walking around on this one. The rubber mat, it's nice and firm, very solid. There's really only one thing I found you kind of have to watch out for. And that's because of its pattern. This floor mat has a tendency to trap debris. So if we pull this mat aside, we can see we've got all this dust and stuff that's been piling up underneath. And with a vacuum cleaner going above, it's very difficult to get it out. So for cleaning, you always want to push this thing aside and just sweep the floor down underneath it. And the last thing I want to mention, look at how large it is. I mean, it's big enough for me to walk back and forth. It covers the entire countertop I'm working on. Very, very good size. To sum things up, I would recommend this floor mat for cases where you want something more rigid, more firm. A place like a garage where you're already going to be wearing some lightweight shoes. Or a kitchen where the floor might get wet and having the scrubber is going to protect you from slipping. As usual, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And I hope this video was helpful.